bumps the axe. Prove yourself! Now, so the extra two range creeps. Also giving enough uh, leftover experience for Spangly. Well, the question becomes, what can you do with these creeps? Starts off with a pretty good one here, that hill troll. Or dark troll summoner it's called. Oh, the first one. Yeah, here. Just about to turn back is... Fourth in time. <laughs> Two for one exchange here, but Ben has dropping. Not exactly what I expected. But hey, it is what it is. Beamer up top. Yeah, they're trying. And they're actually going on PA with a bit of a net root. They do have another uh, another shield crash. Should we go? There we go. <laughs> Not wasting any time. The first creep. And perhaps looking for more. I mean, it's level 3, 2 point level swashbuckle, decent amount of damage if you can land it all. And, well, so gotta be careful here. Yes, there's more action down bottom. Potentially very devastating if he finds the right timing for that. That's true. Went for the um, natural order rather than the storm, just to get that extra bit of uh, damage out of this. Uh, Any dies up top. <laughs> Indiana. This time left alone though, it's a little bit easier to do. He's vulnerable to sit, this top lane. Try and go again on PA, they have two creeps to work with this time. Is that Tom and already landing one nuke? Alien man, a banana, he's quite fast on his feet, but Swashbuckle helps his healing self. Not gonna be enough with the extra nuke. Punching quite hard. And constantly with his firestorm. He's sitting on the tower though, stunned up, hexed up, and burst down. Uh, Overestimating his own tankiness there, perhaps. A uh, bit of a freebie given over as Kevin. Uh, he's continuing to be super long to the DP here. And now with Sinner around, they can not go for Nightmare, but the body blocks into the stun, into the ultimate. They're doing the Kevin for that rotation. Webbed up. A couple of nukes available here. Oh, it's Swashbuckle and the Soku. Nice to be played here. Take it to Nightmare to try and make sure that. I probably can get some damage in, but it's not enough. Once again, infused rain drops saving lives. One small top lane now. Phantom Assassin completely left alone, time and time again. Three deaths, yes, that would be correct. That they can afford to just give that up. Just rely on Phantom Assassin to still have an impact. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. They're continuing to play in this area over these supports before rotations finally come in to finish them off. Yeah, I mean, if it is even just a chain himself. Another nuke available. Is the penitence going? I mean, this is a dead hero. Chen and three creeps. So this is just strength and tier at this stage in the game. Like you can solo people like that. Gosh, all over the place. Way too late for that. Down bottom. Yeah, there's another one. Call this one in time. <laughs> I don't need many people to get kills. One shot. Is he gonna get one shot? Not quite. No big crits here, but still a kill. Finally, any man of now. Does get his revenge. Space graded those that bring down tier one mid. Very important tower to take. With that exorcism. So now, what else do you want to do? Well, the characters can just get some of these boundary runes. And so at least they didn't suffer in that regard too much either. And this is a really good kill. Straight up a fiend script. No problems whatsoever. And Masoku, he finished that TP. Don't have a lot of follow-up control right now, apart from that Dragon Slave thing. Oh, no, the lights are away. <laughs> Coming off cooldown already, so... Not cancelling your TP means that he dies up top the fight. What a lights are away, so really quick one for Lena, keeping her safe. Nope, Kevin. Nightmare into another one. Into Quick Zap. Oh, can't deny it. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Causing one shot to commit for it and just go for the deny. Bane. Any amount of bananas stunned up. They do not have the finger of damage. It's used for the pain. Need a little bit more, but the stun from the side. Nice little earth player channeled up. That boy Yoku jumping away from that, finishing up that PA. Sinner stunned up as well. 
pretty powerful, but misses in the smart sparkle. Follow up still there for the lane to secure the kill regardless. Now slow down. They see him. And they should be able to finish him with the last couple of right clicks. How is he still alive? There we go, Kevin. Ready with the interception. Keeping her away, but still doing damage to the tower. Nice little snap back. And uh, there's a couple of heals. If they can burst down new face here, things look sour. But he does get some burn siphons off the stomp. Unable to stop it, but still healing throughout all of that. That's the Aegis being popped, and now Pangolier doing his thing, rolling through once and twice with a big thing of death ring down. One, two, three on the sidelines. Lena buying back instantly. Try and send them back, and that will be successful as they did lose the DP. Got all of that. Now, Nightmare into Light Strike Array. Big crit there, but. Still quite have to follow up. Lazuna Blade already used. Now, Lena, in fact. So if you can lock him down, you can probably just kill him with the. Uh, can you drop on him? As you see another side breaking out. Big crit onto new face. Shields off with a couple of third siphons, but he won't be late the inevitable. The reinforcements are focused on bringing down Kevin first. One for one trade. Can they find more for either side here? Yeah. Evil Empire certainly want to with the buyback even used. They realize perhaps this is their opportunity. The Earth player coming through. Really good position. Four things. Uh, except for it was prevented ultimate for a little bit. It's still being slowed down. And the way to TP out, they find him inside the trees. Ben has also there to greet him. Everyone get out. Sit